Right now, our country is being actively looted by the third world. A chilling example of this, of what Kamala Harris wants to bring to the rest of the country, is what's happening in the suburbs of Denver. Now, I say this with no delight whatsoever. Colorado is lost. It's really sad. I love Colorado. It's a beautiful state. But what Colorado has allowed itself to become is a even weaker, faker version of California. I know it's amazing. In fact, in California, I think that there is more spirit, more long-term hope of saving California than even Colorado. I think Andrew agrees with me, by the way. Colorado is so far gone as far as its weed culture, its tech bro, its second most college-educated state in the country. It is so far gone. In the Denver, in the Denver suburb of Aurora, Colorado, we are seeing... An illegal Venezuelan gang known as Tren de Aruga, Aragua. They've taken over block by block, apartment complex by apartment complex. In America, they're walking around with AR-15s and sophisticated weaponry, just taking over apartment complexes. Gang members are posted throughout various blocks using alert whistles. They're watching and communicating. Gang members have the internal green light to attack police officers if confronted. Business owners and residents are experiencing a record spike in break-ins. One tenant literally vanished. When the police performed a wellness check on them, they found an armory of guns, money, and giant, a giant barrel of gasoline. There you have on your screen Venezuelan gangs that have come into this country illegally just taking over American apartment complexes in the suburbs of Colorado. Look at that. It's their apartment complex now. And that is a perfect microcosm of America under Kamala Harris. A nation to be looted. The city is covering up the severity of these issues by trying to close some buildings for, quote, code violations. When it's really these criminal gangs that are just taking over. The governor, Governor Polis, too busy partying at the DNC in Chicago because diversity is our strength. These are dreamers. They, Kamala Harris wants to give these people amnesty, taxpayer-funded tuition, driver's licenses, luxury hotels. Jose Pacheco Chiruo, a.k.a. the Cookie Monster, is the shot caller of the Tren de Arugua gang in this area. We know who's in charge. He's been, ass- he's been arrested several times for brutal assault, being involved in several shootings, and he's been arrested every single time because we must be compassionate to the foreigners. This is anarcho-tyranny, and I'll explain more in just a second. Watch this clip of how a local Colorado suburb, of course, voted by liberals, supported by liberals, supported by the Democrat Party because they believe in love. Well, that love is going to take over an apartment complex and a suburb near you. And just so you understand, Aurora, Colorado is very similar to Scottsdale, Arizona. Very similar to... Highland Park, Texas. It's a nice area. It's objectively affluent, upper middle class. Aurora has increasing property values. But now Aurora looks a lot more like Caracas, Venezuela. Play cut 118. What is it that you're seeing right now as far as this Venezuelan gang taking over now the migrant centers there? It's unreal. Um, It's unreal. Residents tell me they feel like they are living in a third world country um, at this point. They are going block by block. They are going apartment complex by apartment complex. They are taking it over. Um, I think the city doesn't really know how to handle it. So the city is burying certain properties um, that have been taken over by this trendy Aragua gang, uh, burying them with code violations and playing it off as if this is just simply code violations. But this gang, um, they are marking their territory. They are putting up their um, gang-related graffiti on the blocks, on the areas that they have taken over. And quite frankly, I have heard too many stories from too many property owners, business owners, and residents to think that this is anything other than a complete gang takeover in parts of our city. That's a city council member in Aurora, Colorado. And it is a perfect example. She's a sweet woman but of the feminine energy that has captured the country. Oh, well, this is really bad. You know what we should do? We should roll in with Immigration Customs Enforcement, 
roll them with DHS, with tanks, and get them the heck out of this country. You could solve this in five minutes. Bring in the National Guard, arrest them all, put them on a plane, send them back to Caracas. Done. End of story. They're giving them benefits. They're giving them housing. They're walking around with sophisticated weaponry and what looks like fully automatic machine guns taking over streets of American cities. And we're, we're, we're playing patty cake. Well, you know, it's a really tough situation. These are foreign invaders on American soil. We probably paid for airline tickets, by the way. Thank you, Kamala Harris, to bring them into Aurora, Colorado. Taxpayers, we funded them to come into this country. And meanwhile, Kamala Harris is all about joy. Donald Trump should bring this up in the debate. He should say, we are flying 30,000 people a month, and they're taking over apartment complexes in Aurora, Colorado. That's on you, Kamala Harris. This is from the worst countries. These are illegals that are in our country. We give them pre-approved parole. We give them taxpayer-funded hotel rooms. We give them cash. And we give them cell phones. There's literally an app called the CBP app where now Venezuelan gangs can come up. And Donald Trump is right. Remember, they say, oh, Donald Trump is spreading misinformation. This is the Venezuelan gangs that used to wreak havoc in Venezuela that are now here in the interior of the United States. Kamala Harris is literally letting the worst criminal parasites on earth loot America, and we are putting up with it. But do you know who does go to jail? Steve Bannon goes to jail, and he's in federal prison right now. So the Venezuelan gangs walking around with guns, taking over our, taking over our apartment complexes that we have funded, we can't arrest them. But Steve Bannon, he's in jail. Donald Trump just got a superseding indictment two, two days ago. Tulsi Gabbard, she's on a secret skies program, and she has to be followed around by air marshals. So the priority of this regime is that we are going to use the full force of the government to come after conservatives and the MAGA faithful. But if you're a Venezuelan criminal parasite who's probably wanted for murder by Venezuelan authorities, it is open season because diversity is our strength. What unifies the Kamala Harris worldview? They are a nation. They believe in a nation to be looted. Think about what exactly happening on the border. They're coming in. It's just an open season for the third world to loot this country. They don't want to enforce the laws of people shoplifting, taking stuff from Home Depot, from Lowe's. We are a nation that is currently being looted. And currently, we do not have the wherewithal to say stop. You see, looting is very, very easy to stop. It just requires the will to stop it. It requires a population to say, we're not going to put up with this.